whenever it happens, if it happens, it's going to be absolutely horrible. What? Oh, okay. I'm not going that way. Because we've been there. Oh, Ethan, can you drop down? Let me play the game my way, the way I want. Why, why can't there be any duck key? Why can't there be any jump key? I know it's extremely unfair, but... Alright, so let's go this way then. Yeah! I totally forgot to keep looking at my gas ometer thing over there. But I assume it's this way. Yeah, see? Open! Quick save! I'm guessing it's in one of these places. Still alive! Search the dressing rooms. The body is somewhere in this area. Really? I bet it falls out the ceiling or something. Open the door! Him turn around. Click. Is he dead? Just confirm if he's dead or not. What do we have here? A matchmaker scene, but it's not quite right. Looks like you have a male corpse and a female mannequin. Exactly the opposite of normal. Well, not normal. Thomas, photograph the victim's face. <laughs> oh, seriously. We all know what's going to happen now. And then... Turn! Okay, didn't happen. Shape and colour of the facial mark is consistent with the painted marks on all the male mannequins in previous matchmaker crime scenes. But this is strange. Thomas, get a shot of his right hand, will you? Oh, God. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I don't want to get too close. Oh, he's got his index finger missing. Yes, yes, he's missing his right index finger, and it doesn't look like it's a recent loss either. This guy's the matchmaker. Well, he certainly didn't kill himself and set it up this way. See what else you can find. No, oh, why? There, okay. Do I have to get super class? I don't want to get super class. Oh, well. Just checking. Yes, of course I have to get so close. Now he's gonna grab us. Damn. No usable DNA traces. Killer must have worn gloves. But there is something. What is it? Too early to call. Small particles that show up as a potential organophosphate pesticide. What? I'll work more on that and see what we get. Oh, shit. What? Whoa! Oh. What? What? Ah! Mm. Oh! Fuck! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, again, I tried to cancel hitting him, so I could think of a jail. Poor officer. How how could you let him get the better of you? You're a train. Look at you. You look pretty damn big, and you let him take you out. Where's your gun? Why don't you have your gun? <sighs> Damn it. I thought I saw him drop a gun there. Well, who knows? Anyway, glad that corpse didn't come alive. Hey! Look out! Oh, of course. Yeah! You punk. Come here. <laughs> yeah. No. Yes. Mm hmm. Not bad. Oh, the plot is 
thickening, I guess. Where am I going? Avoid the police. <laughs> well, I thought I could help him and improve my innocence. Exit. Are we leaving now or what? No? Through here? No? <laughs> now he's tired. Now he can't run. That's oh, the police. I heard footsteps. Hello? I think I've got something, Thomas. The newspaper clippings you found in the room at the metro station, each of the articles talks about a serial killer. A serial killer that was on your case list. Nine names were mentioned. Of those, seven of the nine were crossed out in each of the clippings by a black felt tip marker. The only names that weren't crossed out were the matchmaker and the torturer. Of the names that were crossed out, all those cases have gone cold. And now you can cross off the matchmaker. Wait, are you implying that there's someone stalking serial killers? So what, he goes around killing killers and then he marks off their name in his little personal diary? It sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It does, but it adds up. It almost makes sense. Does it? Ah, shit. Rosa, I have to call you back. Escape from the department store. Oh, wh where do I go? Shit. Ugh. Ugh. Bloody hell. Uh, why is my vision gone blurry? Yeah. Crunch! Open the doors to complete chapter! After I kill this guy! Oh shit. Oops! Good work. <laughs> right, oh, there we go. Only found two birds, but whatever. Don't even know what they're for. Uh, let's see what the next chapter holds us off us, see if there's a cutscene, and then I'll give it a rest. It's been discovered that humans are being affected in the same way birds are, providing an explanation for the unusual rise in severe brain disorders reported by local hospitals. These inherently predisposed to... Eh? What? Those inherently predisposed to violent tendencies slip rapidly towards a host of mental psychosis and begin to exhibit signs of hallucinations, uh, homicidal behaviour and paranoia. So is Ethan being affected by it? Mmm. Monkeys. Yeah. You were going to call me back. Sorry. So, the fingerprint in the metro station and the boot print are not the matchmakers, but this other guy. So, is he the torturer? Doubtful. It's not the torturer's M.O. Think about it. The final murder in each of those cases on your list ended with a killing similar to the previous ones. This guy goes around and kills the killers in the same way that they're killing the innocent. He's like an uber killer. A serial killer X. A perp not on your original case list. So, this serial killer X kills serial killers. He takes them down using their own methods. If the torturer is still at large, what's his MO? Pretty sick stuff. He likes to abduct people, torture them for fun, then let them loose and hunt them down. His goal is to drive them to suicide so he doesn't actually deliver the final blow. What is this city coming to? All right, so I've got to find the torturer and save his ass so the new killer doesn't kill him? <laughs> Life of an agent. Yeah, well, I'm no longer an agent, apparently. Sorry. Look, I can't get you the Bureau dossier on the torturer now, as you can imagine. But we can find out some public information. And I have something else you need to see. Okay. Well, it's too dangerous for me to come to the Bureau. Can you meet me at the City Library? Lights went off. You know there's been a fire hey. there. The whole thing shut down for repairs. Exactly. There's damage, but there's got to be a terminal or two still working. And no one will know. Uh, can you meet me there in uh, 15 minutes? I'll be there. All right, good stuff. Well, that mannequin star department thing. 
that show was quite creepy. <laughs> it did really freak me out at some points, and there was a couple of good scares in there. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna call it quits there for now. Hope you've enjoyed it so far, and I hope you'll enjoy future videos. Goodbye.